Good morning, Pirates. Today is Friday, October 18th. There are 13 days until Halloween. I'm Lily. And I'm Carson. We hope that the Pirate Nation is staying strong and recovering from Milton and Helene. Welcome to the Pirate Nation newscast, and here are today's top stories. On October 18, 1867, the U.S. formally takes possession of Alaska after purchasing the territory from Russia for seven point two million or less than two cents an acre. Indigenous peoples have settled the unforgiving territory thousands of years earlier. The Alaska Purchase comprised of 586,412 square miles, about twice the size of Texas. The sale was made possible by William Henry Seward, the Secretary of State under President Andrew Johnson. Congratulations to the following pirates. There were 90 students who completed the Back to School Reading Challenge. These students are the winners from the Beanstack Back to School Reading Challenge. The 1,000 club students who logged over 1,000 minutes, Sophia Cabarello Morelson, Evelyn Dones, Anaya Watkins, draw the drawing winners, Eva Abraham, Maria Chipranova, Paul Leclerc, Ariseni Pionic, Ashlyn Vila. The challenge is the next challenge is already posted and everyone is encouraged to participate. Don't forget there will be prizes for each challenge. The teachers and staff are eligible to win. Please let Miss Reed in the Media Center know if you have any questions or need help using Beanstack. Happy reading. School picture day for students in grades 9, 10, and 11 has been rescheduled. The new date is Wednesday, November 6th. More information will come out the week before. Stay tuned for updates. And now over to Zane at the PNN Weather Desk. Welcome to the PNN Weather Desk, where our goal is to let you know what weather you should expect next week. Fall is in the air. Next week, temperatures starting to drop with highs in the mid-80s and lows in the high 60s. Rain chances are under 10% next week. Humidity will be about 90 to 90 during the day and lower to about 45% at night, falling for cool, crisp evenings. There are two disturbances in Atlantic this, at this time. The Hurricane Center is watching. Updates will be shared as soon as conditions change. Have a great week, Pirates. We would like to invite you and our, your families to the Braden River Theater and Dance's Night of Magic Car Carabay, rescheduled date of Tuesday, October 29th at 6.30 p.m. in the Braden River High School Auditorium. This family-friendly production includes dance and musical numbers from some of your favorite animated classics, as well as a few new films that you may know. Coming dressed as your favorite princess or prince is highly encouraged. Tickets are $8 in advance by going to the link on the school website or can be purchased for 10 at the door. Cards prefer. We look forward to seeing you there. The award-winning BRHS Black Pearls dance team is raising funds to support their 2024-2025 competition season. Funds raised will be used for choreography, competition fees, costumes, and new pom-poms. You can see a link on Facebook or they will be hosting a junior dance clinic before the football game on October 25th for all kindergarten through 8th graders to learn routine dance. Cost is $40. More information can be found on the BRHS website or see Miss Kelly. Please bring your family, tell your friends. It will be a blast. Attention seniors, have you done community service or are you interested in earning money for college? If so, you should apply for the Golden Herald Award. Due to Hurricane Milton, the information meeting in room 403 is now next Wednesday, October 23rd at 2.30. See Mr. Kirchberg or Ms. McMally if you have any questions. Our local VFW Post 9226 is looking for students to participate in the VFW Voice of Democracy essay competition. This year's theme is is America Today Our Forefathers' Vision? The entry form is on Schoology with all of the details. You must provide a thumb drive or voice recording of your essay, along with the written version and the completed entry form. Entries are due by October 25th. The grand prize is a 35000 scholarship. A state finalist also receives a trip to Washington, D.C. A big shout out to Coach Green and all the Pirates who worked on uploading 
on unloading the much needed food at the food bank of Manatee. The rain did not stop the crew and everyone made a difference in our community. Interested in learning the impact of the Red Cross? Join us for an informational meeting on Thursday, October 24th at 2.30 in room 403. Come make a difference. Attention seniors, are you interested in touring MTC? There are two tours planned for MTC East Campus. November 7th, 2024, from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. MTC Main Campus Tour Field Trip will be November 14th, 2024 from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Sign up before October 25th. Space is limited. Sign-ups are posted next to Ms. Schreer Simmons' room 202C in the Media Center. Congratulations to the marching band of Pirates. Before Milton, they won class champion and, and best in class color guard, visual, GE, percussion, and music at the East Lake Classic. Way to bring home the treasure. Next up is FMBC Lakewood Ranch tomorrow. Go Pirates! The Brain River High School Pirate Course will be participating in a concert with FCGU on Tuesday night. This is a great experience for all of our Pirates. Have fun! Only 12 days until HOCO activities resume. The activities have been rescheduled. Resume Spirit Week dress-up days. Wednesday, October 30th, Squad Slash Duo Day. Thursday, October 31st, Soccer Mom vs. Barbecue Day. Friday, November 1st, Maroon and Black Spirit Day. Night events. Wednesday, October 30th is Pep Rally in the Courtyard from 5.30 p.m. to 7 p.m. Homecoming Dance is Saturday, October 26th from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. The tickets are back online and will be available for purchase until Thursday, October 24th at 11 59 p.m. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Minahan Friday, November 1st, homecoming court crowning during halftime of Robinson High School game. Before we go to part two of a PNN exclusive interview with the principal, Mr. Butler, we want to announce the relaunch of the Pirate Nation News BRHS Instagram with a fun contest. Go to our Instagram to see the latest content, pictures, and special features such as food reviews. The Pirates Bounty challenges all you mateys to guess how many candy corn pieces are in the jar for a chance to win lots of chocolate. Want more chances to win? For every post on your Instagram story is another chance to win. Enter by October 30th at midnight. The winner will be announced on the November 1st news. Go to at Pirate Nation News BRHS today to enter. Visit often to see the new content and now to part two of getting to know Mr. Butler. Um, I think it's, it may be a little too early to say that I've had a challenge, you know, figuring out kind of some of the safety concerns and stuff that we had to address based on the new law has definitely been a stretch for us, you know, making sure that uh, we have a procedure and a system to get students into doors and make sure that everyone's going through the eval and all that stuff day in and day out. Those, those things can be complicated at times, especially when you only have so many staff members to run machines and cover a campus but nothing that we couldn't work through as a team. Uh, I think my, my biggest surprise has just been how welcoming you know, students and staff have been. It's not always that, hey, how you doing? I have students who fist bump me, high five me, all of that stuff, and as if we've known each other for the past you know, three or four years that they've been here for some. And it's just been exciting, and um, it's just been a pleasure to to be a part of that experience here at the river and um, just to know that um, people are just they're welcoming you know and that's yeah. that's that's awesome well, I'm so glad to hear that <laughs> well you know you're looking forward to a, a successful year one with out um, complication <laughs> you know there are things that happen that of course you can never really prepare for they just yeah. they, they come about and you know you have to 
hope that you have everything um, kind of laid out to address those. And so I, I think I'm looking forward to just having a, a great year one, you know, really excited about the opportunity that we're, we're, we're like 42 points away from being an A school. Our school deserves that. We, we deserve to be recognized as an A school because we are. So just putting ourselves in position, hoping that we, you know, do everything we're supposed to do on the days when the tests come and they matter, that, you know, everyone shows up and they put their best foot forward on that. Um, I'm looking forward to that opportunity of at the end of this school year, um, us acquiring enough points to be recognized as an A school. I, I just want to be a person that when people reflect on it, they knew that I was an individual who cared about kids and our staff and that, you know, I was firm, fair and consistent on things that, you know, I was reasonable, you know, even though, you know, there are times when the answer is going to be no, you know, or maybe no, that I still took time to listen to all sides, you know, that people feel seen and valued when, when they are interacting with me. I believe our students and our staff always deserve, as a leader, the best version of me that they can have, because I always want to get the best version of individuals when I interact with them. So I can't ask of that if I'm not trying to also be that. At the PNN Sports Desk with Lorelai, find out about upcoming tryouts and sports events at the Sea and Swim Senior Day. Welcome to the PNN Sports Desk. I'm Lorelai and here are the latest sports announcements. The football team has a bye week to practice and get out all the kinks of, from the hurricane. Next game is at home against Manatee. We can't wait to see our Pirate Pride. Good luck to the cross country team. They compete in the Tri-County Championship at Northport High School tomorrow. Good luck, Pirates. Interested in boys and girls wrestling teams? An update time for the wrestling interest meeting for parents and athletes are October 23rd outside the cafeteria starting at 6.30 p.m. Come out and find out about our award-winning program and meet all of our, their coaches. Girls volleyball start their district tournament next week. Good luck, Lady Pirates. Basketball season is coming. Interested in being part of the team? All boys basketball players, please pay attention to the upcoming dates. Boot camp will be held next Monday, October 21st, Wednesday, October 23rd, and Friday, October 25th at 4.30 p.m. Meet in the gym lobby each day. Tryouts will be on Monday, October 28th, and Tuesday, October 29th. Only for all interested players except for those students currently participating in fall sport. All athletic paperwork must be completed on www.athleticclearance.com prior to participating in either boot camp or trials. Please see Coach Gilmer or Coach Worth Worthman with any questions or concerns. At the last swim meet, BRHS honored its seniors for all the time and dedication put into making the swim team fun and competitive. The Pirate Nation thanks each swimmer and, and wishes them the best of luck. And now back to Lillian Carson at the news desk. And that is all for today's news. If you are in any need, please see a teacher, counselor, or an admin because we are Pirate Nation strong. I'm Carson. And I'm Lily. Remember, if you see something, say something. Bye.